Okay, Luxury Fred here in the 2018 Infinity Q70 5.6 Lux. And this is Infinity's big top of the line uh, sports sedan. Very luxurious car, very sporty, mainly due to its 5.6 liter V8 engine. Uh, which is almost a 350 if you're converting it into cc's and that um, 5.6 liter v8 gives you 420 horsepower and 416 pound-feet of torque which is excellent for performance uh, you have a seven speed transmission with a manual shift mode with downshift rev matching you have paddle shifters which are properly mounted not on the steering wheel they're on behind the steering wheel so they're always in the same position regardless of how you turn the wheel and uh, just a great uh, kind of sport performance luxury sedan this car is uh, 63,000 and change and then this particular model has a bunch of different options that take the price to just under 74,000 uh, the main options being, if I can cheat a little, it's got a $3,300 proactive package, which is basically all of the lane keep assist and blind spot monitoring and, you know, uh, pre-collision alert and all those kinds of things. And then it also has a $4,900 sport package. And the sport package, if I can cheat a little, includes uh, bigger 20-inch rims, and then all of the different sport suspension and things like that. So again, coming out at about 74,000 and that's 74,000 for very luxurious, high performance sports sedan with a huge, powerful V8 engine. So I think you get a lot for the money. Beautifully crafted interior, um, leather seating surfaces, Japanese ash uh, wood panels here and a uh, very comfortable place to be again super powerful with that uh, big v8 and kind of every different uh, driver aid and um, luxury amenity that you can think of fortunately i'm sitting here in rush hour on the 405 so right now i can't really show you the performance but um, spent a couple weeks in this car and drove it from palm springs over the mountains to san diego starting here in uh, Palm Desert uh, and then instead of taking the 10 and going that way we're going to take this way we're going to take the 74 which is called the Palms to Pines Scenic Byway or Palms to Pines because it starts in the palm trees of Palm Desert and ends in the pine trees up by Idlewild so we're going to go up here through this curvy road up the 74 and then connect over here uh, not take the 79 but connect over here to the 215 and the 15 and then we take the 15 all the way down straight shot down to San Diego and then we're going to the Surfer Beach Hotel in Pacific Beach okay so we're about 40 minutes outside of Palm Desert uh, we're in actually we're in what's called the Santa Rosa Indian Reservation right now just went through the San Jacinto National Forest and uh, here's my impressions, first impressions of the Q70. It's big, it's powerful. It's definitely more luxurious than it is sporty. Uh, but with that 5.6 liter V8, it just has an endless reserve of power. And uh, I do find myself downshifting a lot, even in the sports setting. And on some cars, uh, the transmissions are so sensitive you don't have to do that but I am using the magnesium paddle shifters to downshift and so that's uh, first impressions after about an hour behind the wheel and then back and forth between LA and Palm Springs a couple times including now headed back to LA from Palm Springs and uh, great on the freeway again super powerful great to cruise uh, at near triple digit speeds, real endless reserve of power no matter what gear you're in or how fast you're going. And I'm noticing that's, you know, that's the big difference between this and some of the turbo V6s and the V6 sports sedans that, you know, there's no substitution for a big powerful V8 engine. 
Okay, ready from a standing start. Pacific Beach at the Surfer Beach Hotel with the 2018 Infiniti Q70S and uh, had a great stay. I think I showed you this before, but let me just show you this great setup here. So, we are right on the beach here, and you've got everything you need for a fun stay here in Pacific Beach. Here's the uh, front entrance to the hotel and uh, got two restaurants right on site so this one on the corner here is called world famous and it has uh, kind of a traditional American food and good steaks and seafood and all that kind of stuff and uh, it's amazingly inexpensive so you can have a really good steak dinner or something like that and it's only like 20 or 30 dollars so a lot less expensive than la and uh so you can see this is the uh hotel behind it there right uh on the corner here and you're right on the beach right on the boardwalk here in pacific beach so you have a boardwalk going down there and then that's uh mission bay uh on the other side but towards that direction and uh, downtown San Diego and then uh, up there is La Jolla and again this is the uh, Pacific Beach boardwalk here. Uh, haven't, I, I've shifted this a little bit um, I, I had the Lexus GSF which has an amazing 8-speed automatic transmission that I never even touched even in the sport mode it was very responsive this requires a little bit of downshifting sometimes um, it's got different modes this is the mode selector we've got a snow an economy mode a regular mode and then the sport mode I've had it in the sport mode the whole time even with the big V8 uh, you still get uh, 24 miles per gallon on the freeway and um, I think that's it great on curves and the curvy mountain roads and stuff like that just again with that endless power from the 5.6 liter v8 uh, very good build quality inside uh, let me give you a quick look of the uh, quick look the inside of the infinity q70 5.6 lux uh, so great interior got kind of a bulging hood and kind of a, a curve thing here that that mirrors that analog clock you've got your display here for the infotainment system I like how the uh, paddle shifters are not mounted to the steering wheel so they're always right there um, got this great center console again this has Japanese ash uh, wood here uh, or wood inlays or something like that um, so you've got different controls over here for steering wheel heat this is for the rear sunshade this pops the trunk this turns traction control off over here uh, again configurable display here with different settings and things like that and your controls for the different um, you know lane keep assist and all that kind of stuff you have push button start stop here um, great stereo uh, climate control and navigation and things like that very comfortable leather seats uh, with uh, heating and cooling and let me show you the uh, back seat here so we have a very nice uh, back seat again with the uh, the leather continuing in here very very comfortable got both speakers on either side of the uh, front seats there you got to pass through here and uh, this goes up and again very very comfortable uh, kind of full-size sports sedan luxury car 
and uh, very nice fit and finish as I've said with this uh, leather interior on this the luxe Lux version of the uh, Q70. It feels very luxurious and uh, but let's see you can I don't know how to say this you can tell it's a Japanese luxury car uh, I was just in the Audi S5 and just something about the those cars the Audis Mercedes things like that that they just do the interior just a little bit better I mean this is all perfect and fit and finish is real good but just uh, maybe it's too much plastic uh, you know this is all plastic and all that kind of stuff so kind of uh, cheapens the whole experience a little bit I really like this car I really uh, have had a great time driving it it's a car that I would like to have I drive a lot of different cars and sometimes it's in and out and I don't really miss it and don't really think about it but this is this is a car I would really like to have because it does so many things well uh, in terms of being both a luxury car and a sports car so that is it for the uh, drive review of the 2018 Infiniti Q70 5.6 Lux.